Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I've got a different guide for you today. I was bored of this week's content on my main and I don't fancy farming aimlessly for stuff. And I've made a new character. And as I've passed the first hand holding grift areas, I think it should be cool and helpful for beginners to see this. As I'll give some tips along the way that will help you for the entire journey. I'll continue this series if it gets some traction, of course. Why am I making this? Because the internet is littered with guides about rift tankers. Well, I narrate stuff, I won't rush it to the point you barely understand what's what, and I'll cover mission objectives and divines if any are nearby, food recipes, etc. If there's anything interesting other than the crates and I know about it, I'll mention it here. I'll not guarantee I find everything in an area, but I try my best to run around it multiple times. The next video won't have uh, such a long intro by the way. Also, for who wants the condensed version of this, I'll make timestamps with the objectives only. Tell me in the comments what's the format you want me to do for these guys as I include both in this first one. Also, you'll probably miss out on some good stuff if you skip to that part. <laughs> It's your choice. At this point in your playthrough, if you are a beginner, I advise you to kill everything, especially these enemies that drop acid. Also, always loot these yellow trash cans because they give good materials. Once inside, I couldn't find a way of climbing that, so I summoned the bike. This is a very good tip. I climbed so many places with this trick. Up there, there's a storage crate. If you go over to the other side, you will get another storage crate. And downstairs, there's a stair that goes underground. There you will find another storage crate. The tunnels lead into the sea and there's a parallel tunnel I don't know how to get into with some lasers. Perhaps there's a gear crate or a weapon crate in there, but I have no clue. Perhaps you can open some door by messing with the fuse I saw somewhere upstairs, I have no idea. Back to the surface, I failed to jump to these stairs, I know we lead to the mystical crate. So I go explore the next building that has some crates and uh, new enemy in it. This one is easy, just abuse it like uh, I did here. These attacks go in an arc, like an artillery strike or something, so staying outside prevents any damage really. At half uh, HP the head splits from the body and they both have a fit, just kill them. Remember to shoot at the glowy parts all the time. And I keep pulling these ads, just spam F when this happens to get out of the grip. Oh nice, a green uh, gear mod, I think it's my first. Upstairs in the back room there's another storage crate. Outside there is another ladder that leads to another storage crate. On the room of the next building I can see a lot of loot through the walls so I decide I want to go there. Jumping down wasn't such a great idea because I get attacked from all sides. But it's okay, uh, only if I could aim, that is. Morphy crates are such a bitch, sometimes I get a good jump scare. Vending machines give good drinks, all the time, so don't skip them, loot all of them. And another storage crate, these guys are sneaky, they came from upstairs for sure. Going there I see a lot of stuff in this room, another Morphy crate, of course, a weapon crate, and some good stuff for recycling plus some medicines. And in the bathroom there is another storage crate, so this is a very good building, don't skip it. Going outside, I want to climb to the mystical crate, so I go back to the side of the factory that has a ladder to the roof, jump to the building we've just looted, and take a left up the ramp onto the big pipes. <laughs> And I get distracted by all the storage crates I see everywhere. So yeah, I jump down, kill that poor soul that has a tarp over his head to end his misery and go loot the storage crate and the medical supplies next to it. The next one is a Morphe crate. After all that, I go into the small train depot under the big structure I know I need to climb. Loot the in-your-face storage crate there, then move out and go back to the building with the side ladder because I keep thinking I should jump from the roof somehow to get closer to my objective. So I go around it and I find a way to the one next to it. There you go, if I can jump to the roof from the other side, I'm golden. And yeah, I'm golden. <laughs> From there it's easy peasy, just climb the stairs. The first floor has nothing good on it but, but an NPC or two, so continue going up to the next level. There you'll find the mystical crate, an elite that does nothing. Loot everything, in this crate you'll get a recurve bow blueprint. 
which is pretty cool by the way but we're not done yet go up to the last level for a weapon crate i i got a recurve bow in that one so I can try the bow before I decide if I want to use the blueprint or not, which is pretty cool. Now, if you watch this entire video, here's a bonus something. Uh, as as I said, I'll cover everything I found around these areas. So I'm just outside Hearst Industries areas to the west. I'll go north from here. Uh, once you are near that weird pile of cars that defy gravity, you should see if the frog leaper is spawned or not. No idea if this is 100% here or not. At 90% chance, I'm not feeling good about this, but I get lucky <laughs> now onto the puzzle you need to climb the cars in 30 seconds but there's some red goo on the obvious path that will reset you if you touch it so you kind of need to take the right side or at least that's that's how i did it And this is it, now I'll do the condensed version for the people who skipped it. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care and see ya. So you need to enter the building shown on the minimap. Kill the bad guy inside and there you can see a juicy gear crate in the middle of the room. Now in the building below that one on the minimap, so to the south, top floor you'll find a weapon crate and other stuff. Then move out and go back to the building with the side ladder because I keep thinking I should jump from the roof somehow to get closer to my objective. So I go around it and I find a way to the one next to it. There you go, if I can jump to the roof from the other side, I'm golden. And yeah, I'm golden. <laughs> from there it's easy peasy, just climb the stairs. The first floor has nothing good on it but an NPC or two, so continue going up to the next level. There you'll find the mystical crate, an elite that does nothing. Loot everything in this crate you'll get a recurve bow blueprint, which is pretty cool by the way. But we're not done yet. Go up to the last level for a weapon crate. I, I got a recurve bow in that one, so I can try the bow before I decide if I want to use the blueprint or not, which is pretty cool. And this is pretty much it guys. Like and subscribe if you found any value in this and until next time, see ya.